1075 WGCI decides number one for hip hop and R&B. It's the morning show. The Destin legend Leon Rogers, the beautiful Kendrick G, myself, the shortest damn man in Chicago, Kyle. Leon is out today. Corey B has been hanging out with us yes. while Leon is on vacay. Yes, sir. And we're introducing and bringing a guest on the show right now for the first time. So many of you have grown up with this man on television. Yes. Yo, it is a pleasure, Chicago, for us Thank to have in the studio right now, Mr. Kel Mitchell is here. Yeah. What's up, Chicago? How you doing, good, man? bro? I'm blessed, man. Man, yo, you've been famous a long time, bro. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. I, I know you probably get tired of hearing it, but for the people that are like, all right, well, Kel, you know, what do we know him from? Yeah. I just watched it with my kids probably okay. a month or two ago. Yeah. We watched Good Burger. Yes, yeah. sir. Come Welcome on. to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. <laughs> Can I take your order, Kyle, Kel? Kyle, that was terrible. That was terrible? Do it yeah. for me then. No. You gonna no. do it? I'm never gonna do it when the man is in the <laughs> building. No, sir. No, sir. But listen, we know you yeah. live in that fabulous LA life. How does yes. it feel to be back home? Because you're from the south side of Chicago. Yeah. So how does it feel to be back home? I love being back home. I love the city of Chicago. Chicago made me who I am. You know what I mean? And uh, I took my parents out we, uh, to dinner last night. Yeah. Where'd that go? Uh, you know, we went to uh, Kill My Name. Oh, yeah, wow. it's a nice little a vegan spot. Shout out to Kale, my name. Uh, okay. Real cool, you know, Kale, Kale. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, the food is, uh, is amazing over there. So yeah, we had a good time. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Now you're from Chicago. Yeah. You're home. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't even know that a lot of people knew because we didn't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? How does it feel like when you're walking around and people learn that you're from Chicago? Like, what is it about Chicago that kind of propelled you into the world that you're in now? What was yeah. it that made you who mm -hmm. you are? Well, yeah, my uh, my parents. I was uh, a little rambunctious and. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a class clown. So my parents put me in the theater. Uh, we, they tried everything else, uh, but theater was a the thing that stuck. Uh, ETA Creative Arts Foundation. Yes. Uh, oh, that's yeah. why I got started, man. Uh, did a lot of theater there. Shout out to Renako Jahi, uh, my drama teacher over there. And uh, from ETA, I did Goodman, Victory Gardens Theater, you know, all over. Yep. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get into this book, Bless yeah. Mode 90 Days to Level Up Your Faith. Yeah. So in 90 days, you can find Jesus. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get my faith together, Kev. You ain't got 90 days. You you got one hour with me. Huh? Uh -oh. Convince me in 60 uh -oh. minutes. <laughs> well, no, this is uh, this is a devotional. Okay. It's a devotional book. It gets you ready for your day, prepare for your day. You're not going to go outside uh, with no clothes on, right? You prepare, right? Uh, hold on, hold on. Where we at, Kim? Right. So the thing about it is, is that you got to go outside, prepare it spiritually as well. Yeah. And gonna, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, we're going to take a break. When we come back, let's, let's dive into your book a little bit more. Okay. Up. And we got to let yeah. people know where you're going to be in the city this week weekend as well, all yes, right? So yes. we're going to take this quick break. Coming back to Chicago, Kel Mitchell hanging out yes. with us in the studio. This is a good song. Let's get it. It's GCI. Hey. 1075 WGCI, the size number one for hip hop and R&B. It's the morning okay. show. Leon Rogers, Kendrick G, myself, Kyle, Corey B, hanging out for Leon while he's on vacation. We got a guest in the studio. Yeah. If you're just waking up and tuning in, Kel Mitchell is with us right yeah. now. Right. And right before we went into that last song, we were talking about it. You got a new book out called yeah. Blessed Mode. You were explaining that it's a devotional. Yeah. What brought you to make this, create this book? What made you want to do it? Yeah, man. So uh, I've been through a lot of my life, a lot of ups and downs, but God was always there. You know what I mean? And a lot of people are like, yo, Kel, you need to do a memoir because your story is real deep. And I was like, no, I want to do a devotional because I have a busy lifestyle. Mm. I know a lot of other people do too. And a devotional just gets you ready for your day. So what it does is that each day I start you off with a Bible verse. Okay. After the Bible verse, there's a short story. After the short story, I'll take you through a prayer. And then I have my favorite part called Go Get Them Blessings. Oh. And in that, you apply it to your life. So I might make you forgive somebody. Like you have to forgive somebody during that day off of best on what you read. Or I might have you do some burpees. Because this, <laughs> this book works on your uh, physical, mental, and spiritual nice. health. Yeah, so uh, it's for everyone just to uh, let them know about their faith. You believer. And for people that uh, don't go to church or are not believers just yet, I want to open the door so that they can understand like God is those that you are beautifully and wonderfully made. Dope. Yeah, Perfect. by God. Yeah. Perfect yeah. time for Easter yeah. around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. And you yeah. know what, Kevin, I love yeah. about you is mm -hmm. like you have this energy that is just always to me, like you said, you've been through a lot, but I mm -hmm. think of you as always a very happy person, very yeah. positive. Um, how I think of Will Smith. But as we see, Will Smith had a breaking point. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, you to me, I, I put you on the same alignment of just people that enjoy life, successful, happy black men. But have you ever wanted to slap the mess out of somebody, Cal? <laughs> That's why you get blessed more. <laughs> <laughs> 
what happens is, is that it gets you ready for your day. So you take all your anxiety, everything that you're dealing with. We go through the fields during the day, right? So basically, so Will emotion. Smith needed to read your book before the Oscar. <laughs> Wait a minute. And more than he needed that book. Just to connect with God. Right before, you know? That, that's it. That's it. Just connect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. Let's that. talk about you being in the city this weekend because you're also going to be at the Chicago Black College Expo. Yeah. That's going to be at Chicago State University tomorrow for people that are coming out and want to learn about black colleges. Uh, right. Kendra and myself both are HBCU graduates. Here so this is University. What's the Salem State University? So talk about tomorrow and what's going on with that. Bro, we're going to have over like 300 colleges there. Uh, all the HBCUs are coming through. Uh, the thing about it is that every student can bring their transcripts. So when they bring their transcripts and they check their scores, you can get accepted on the spot wow. to the HBCUs at that moment. And so uh, it's just a beautiful thing for me to bring it to Chicago. I've been working with the Black College Expo for many different years. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I was like, you got to bring it to my hometown. You know, and the students are super excited about it. And uh, yeah, man, it's just been beautiful. You know, sending people to college for the first time and their family, it could be that. Yeah. Or it could just be, you know, kids that just want to get information on where to go. And you can, like I said, you can get accepted on the spot. So yeah. that's, it's awesome. Yeah. That's super yeah. dope. Now look, because I'm a super fan, I'm going to ask the question. <laughs> I'm okay. the super fan, right? Let's go. So now, do you ever get tired of people walking up to you and giving you the good burger lines? Do you get tired of people going, <laughs> hey, hey, Kel, where's Keenan? Hey, uh, I'm, I'm a cow. Mood. Oh, like, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, for real. Oh, I'm a cow. Yeah. Yeah, no, oh I God. never, I never get upset about that, man. You know, it's, it's very humbling that people still love it. Uh, it's been great when me and Keenan brought the show back in 2019 yes. for a new generation of kids, and uh, people still loving Good Burger. I love it, man. Uh, you know, I, I do it for people all the time. You know what I mean? So it's all good. And yeah. you don't look like you've aged a bit. So this book <laughs> is really working for you, because when you said burpees, I was like, oh man, I'm out. Like yeah. I, I ain't got time. But it really looks like it's working for you. You haven't aged a bit. So that whole mental, physical spiritual is where I'm definitely gonna cop the yeah, book. Yeah, I like Thank you. Yes, Thank you. You know what? She mentioned it and you mentioned it too. I mean, yeah. you, you guys both do things individually, but, mm -hmm. you know, Keenan and Kel goes together. You yeah. know, like, you know, and people always, like, they like the duo of you two. Yeah. Talk about that friendship and, you know, yeah. and you guys, you taught us off air, you guys still talk all the time. Yes, we do. How did y'all meet and when did y'all realize <laughs> that y'all had something, like, unique together? Man, so, uh, it was actually during the TLC sketch. So we all from everywhere. All the kids came from everywhere. I'm from Chicago. Keenan's actually from Atlanta and all the other kids from different other places. But we did a TLC sketch and when we did it, we were like two old men, Mavis and Clavis. And that was the part mm -hmm. at the end of the all that. We go, oh yeah, kick it. It was that part. And that's when we noticed like the comedy. You know what I mean? I would say something and he knew what I was exactly going to say. Uh, and then they just started putting us in sketches over and over again together. We spent off did the Keenan and Kel show, uh, films after that, Good Burger, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man. And he got to get you on SNL, because we were talking <laughs> about the fact, I know they really good friends, Shout out but to I didn't realize you ain't been on SNL yet. And Keenan, you've been up on SNL, and hey, I like you watch Black too. Lady Sketch Show. Yeah. I'm, with, I'm with him right now. Oh, 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 oh,
girl, you know Killer Kane gotta battle you because if you wanna come in with a K, let's do it. Okay. Freestyling every day. We got Cal Mitchell in the building, but my name is Killer Kane. Two Ks together, we the Black Kardashians. What you wanna say about that? Billion dollars in the building. Cal, uh -huh. what you got? You was rapping like old school, like yeah. uh, you needed a hurrah. <laughs> Hey, yo, give them your Instagram. <laughs> give them your Instagram as we get up out of here, bro. Uh, at I am Kel Mitchell. At I am Kel Mitchell. Uh, yeah, and get the get the book. It's available everywhere. Get the single as well. Uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm super excited. And the video drops today to the music yes, video. It's dropping today too. Yeah, so so Chicago, yeah. your very own Kel Mitchell. Yeah. 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 Chicago's finest, we baby. We appreciate yeah. you, bros. WGCI. Thank you, fam.